everyone, it's Mimikuti here, and today I figured I'd show you some plays that I did on iCatch. I did quite a few today, so I figured we'd just jump right into it. So the first prize I went for was the Sumpagir, um, like, long cushion body pillow thing. And my strategy here essentially is just to lift the prize forward. Um, the claw I found through playing and messing up the first time. <laughs> I found the claw was pretty strong and had some relatively good lift, as you can see by the lift I did just there. Usually when the claws are pretty strong and only take a few tries, like less than maybe like 7 or 8, um, I do like to stick around and play them a few times because it's fun winning things and not suffering. <laughs> um, so I just centered the claw here. It went towards the front, so just letting it lower there. And I'll be using the side view pretty often in these plays here. So as you can see, there was some awesome lift getting it to the front. So here, just like a little tidbit of information. When prizes get into this position in general, it can be kind of finicky because if the claw isn't strong, I've seen a few prizes get into position, just like the one that this pillow was in. And even when a player did the correct front lift that should, in theory, get it into the prize shoot, it didn't really work. And another fun thing I discovered about this machine, as you saw, is that the back button does have some input lag. So as you saw, I let go of the button relatively early, but the claw still went back. As you can see, it lifted the part right back onto the platform. So that stinks, which means we have to go one more time, which, you know, would prefer not to have to do. Also, I hope you guys enjoy Mako in the corner. She will be with us through the majority of this video. So we're just going to head back to the right here and let go a little bit earlier to deal with the lag and thankfully the claw didn't get stuck because as you can see we are pretty close to the wall and it's in so here's the thing about eye catch they can be very finicky when it comes to what they consider a win and what they don't consider a win because i have had cases where prizes were in the prize shoot i've sent an inquiry and they gave it to me even though it didn't fall like all the way down but was off the bars and I've had situations where they didn't give it to me so instead of risking losing the prize I decided whatever I'll just play one more time so because there was a pretty nice gap in between the cushion and the platform we just scoop her right on in and that's it we got it it's awesome so I was trying to figure out whether I wanted to keep playing or whether I wanted to check out on other items because before I had hopped onto this machine, um, the Kizuna, I can't remember if it's Kizuna like I or Kizuna AI, I probably should have checked that before <laughs> hopping into this video, but I'll just call her Kizuna for now. Um, so I'm just scrolling around. I apologize for any weird cuts in this video i did a lot of unnecessary scrolling like several minutes of unnecessary scrolling so i tried to cut that out so here um we are on the next symphigear pillow um the set not like the set because there's like more but the two that came out today you know were released or not today i'm filming this several days later brain fart um so the claw here, definitely not as strong as the previous one, but because it had a little bit of lift, I figured I'd give it another go. So just waiting for the continue button to come up here. So we are going to basically do the same thing. Um, I decided to go a little closer to the front this time, I believe since I found that the front lift, if you got like the very edge of the pillow, worked pretty well on the other machine and as you can see, didn't didn't really do anything. It just kind of let it go. 
but I figured, you know, maybe I could get a good lift in and I'll give it one more try because I really did want the second one. I do have like an eBay and Mercari store, so some of these items that you see me playing for today will be available on my store, but I really wanted to keep this one for myself. So we are going to try one more time, just going down towards the center to see if we can get any sort of lift at all. And it did absolutely nothing. So I decided to bail because it just it just wasn't happening. So just scrolling around and we see the Kizuna pillows are up. So sorry for the weird cut there again. Um, but I decided to go ahead and try it. Because sometimes it's good to be the first person on a machine to test the claw strength and whatnot. Because if it's strong, it works out in your favor. And if it's weak, you know to avoid it for the rest of the machine's existence. So I decided to go towards the, the front here and oh boy, okay, that is some pretty good lift. Let's see where it drops it. Alright! <laughs> One shot, that's awesome. I When I initially played this, I was worried that when I picked it up, that it would sort of fall on its side and I wouldn't be able to lift it again. But there we go, it worked out relatively well. So I came back. For another try after they replace the pillow so we're going to do basically the same thing here um, just sort of center it over the pillow and move uh, just before um, the front of the pillow and as you can see awesome lift once again not as crazy as the first one but still good enough you know to keep playing so I believe in this video, just the general theme will be me not going far enough to the left or to the right. Um, yeah, I <laughs> just, I had some issues with claw placement, definitely. So we're going at it one more time. I didn't even realize that someone, I just saw <laughs> um, in the back that you could see someone's arm moving. <laughs> Maybe that's why the claw got nerfed so soon. Because people saw that they were relatively strong. But that time did not lift as well, but it did strain it out, which makes things a little bit easier. Sometimes when prizes are shifted to the left or to the right, it could be kind of hard to lift them. Because it's easier, at least for me, to lift a prize when it is centered, at least on a setup like this, because there are setups where you do want to shimmy the prize to the left and to the right. So we're going for it again, closer to the front, and not much movement there, but again, it's a little bit straighter, so I figured I'd go for a little bit behind the second bar this time instead of going for the same position that I had been doing previously. So we're just gonna go ahead and do that now and hopefully get some lift. And of course, in general fashion, I stopped too soon. Like I said, claw placement, not that great. But we did get some lift, which was good, and it fell in! So that is another Kizuna pillow down. So I will have these available on my store, but I definitely want to keep one of these for myself. At least this version. I There were two versions of the pillow, and I personally thought this one was a little bit cuter. So I definitely want to keep that one. I don't know if I want to keep the other one. Like, it is cute, as you can see. But I don't know. I think I just like that the other one um, has a lot more pink in it. I don't know. But I feel like her pose is cuter too. The cat ears on this one are cute. But anyway. So I decided to go ahead and get this one. Like we got one. We kind of have to get the set at this point. So I decided to see how the claw strength worked. This one and pretty good lift again. So this one is interesting though. The There's a pretty good difference between the two pillows in terms of how they wrapped them. So this one, um, I'll probably point it out when I go back to the side view here. 
which I will do in a minute after I move the claw. I'm basically just going to center it again. So as you can see in the back, it's a lot fatter in the back and thinner in the front. So there's a little bit of an imbalance there while the other one was basically sort of flat all the way around. Um, and because the back's a lot like thicker, it's a bit more curved in the back, which can make it kind of hard for the claw to pick it up. Whereas if a prize is flat and the claw strength is right, under normal circumstances, it should be able to lift fairly easily. So that was my concern when playing this one. I wasn't really sure where to lift. And as you can see, I went way too far to the back there. <laughs> And when it lifted it up, it basically lifted it backwards. That was just like, oh no, that was a wasted play. But, you know, you got one and you kind of want to get the other. So I was like, okay, I'll just, you know, I'll keep playing. It doesn't matter. It'll be fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> So again, basically doing what we did before, except less messing up, we're going back towards the front again. And just waiting for the claw to go down. And lift her right back up. This one was definitely more of a pain to play. So, oh, I forgot to mention, I swear I have, like, a very short attention span. And I actually left the machine there because I was just not making a lot of progress and then came back. Um, and saw that the other AI machine was in maintenance because the claw, it was, it was too swole. <laughs> so I was sort of looking back and forth to see what they were doing to it because... If they're like severely nerfing it then there's no sense in really playing it anymore so we got super good lift on that one but it didn't really look like it went anywhere but good lift so you know you can keep going at it so I moved over one more time and we're just going back moved a little bit further to the right this time and look at that lift! Alright, got the other one. Definitely a lot more plays than the first one took, but the set has been won. Which is great! I usually wait for like the get sign. So here I cut to where this machine was also put in maintenance too. And my concern with what they did was they basically made this front area here um, a lot smaller. So my concern now with this machine was that the back of the prize would be too, too thick to fall through the prize chute. Um, but then I moved back over to the first one. I'm just sort of shifting between the two. And even the back chute was a little bit smaller too. So because of the way they wrapped the pillow, I was very worried about whether or not it would even be able to fit into the prize chute anymore. But I wanted to test the strength of the first one to see how different it was. I knew it definitely was not going to be as strong, like there was no way it was going to be as strong. But just because a claw isn't like one shot type strong doesn't mean it's not playable so as you can see you i did get some lift there um it's definitely going to cost more plays to win the pillow but it's still doable which is like fine so the first two that i won i do plan on putting up on my store but this one this one's for me i can't i can't not have one of these for myself and I do tend to like sit on the floor when I'm in my room and I don't have enough cushionage to sit there for a long time without my tailbone hurting. So I decided, you know what, it'd probably be better if I got one for myself and had more pillows really because I do have, um, I used to play Tori Butt a lot and I do have cushions from there but it's just not enough for me to be comfortable for sitting on the floor, at least for like extended periods of time. Um, so I figured, get one for yourself, and 
you'll be more comfortable chilling on the floor because that's where I really play eye catch. I sit on the floor in my room. <laughs> I probably should sit at my desk. I don't know why I don't sit there. That would probably be the logical thing to do. And as you can see, here's the theme starting of me not going far enough to the left. Just missing plays. But it does happen a lot, at least with me. It happens with other people too. You know, mistake plays happen. But yeah, not sure where I was going with that whole cushion discussion. But anyway, back to helpful commentary about how to win these pillows. There again, I believe I did not go far enough to the left, I don't think. Yeah, as you can see, they're, they're almost like just little areas of plastic that sort of stick out. But thankfully, I was able to pick it up and sort of straighten it back out, which is what I really wanted. Because, again, when it's a little bit too far to the left or a little bit too far to the right in these type of setups, it, it can be kind of hard to get the lift that you need. So I prefer to straighten it out before doing anything else. And again, did not go far enough to the left. I just had a string of like bad plays here. So again, I was like, okay, I'll just look at the other machine and see what's going on. I do, um, and this is kind of how I play, I do switch between machines fairly often. Um, as long as I see what the claw did in terms of moving the prize, I personally don't mind shifting back and forth to see what's up with other prizes. So that time, movement was the way it should have been for what, three turns? <laughs> so just going down there to pick up the front, and I hit the bar, which kind of sucked. But still got lift on it, which was good, but again, I moved it to the left. But I moved it to the left, but it's still kind of straight, I guess? So I figured if I could get it off the back platform, it should be fine. But I figured I wanted to bias it and move it back towards the right. So I could straighten it out and then lift it a little bit easier. But then, of course, I have to not mess up, which can be difficult occasionally for me. <laughs> but that time we didn't hit any of the plastic that was hanging off. And we got an okay lift. So as you can see, it's kind of off of the back bar now. So when that happens, it could be kind of interesting because for me, I never know whether I want to lift it from the back or lift it from the front or the middle. So this time I just decided to go towards the middle to see what happens and just wrap around the prize there. And as you can see, didn't really do much. So I was trying to decide, you know, next move here. So I believe this is me indicating that I'm going to go towards the front of the prize rather than going towards the center since that clearly didn't really work out the way I thought it would. So we're just going to center over the prize and just do a quick little tap because I figured since it was off of the back bar now, I should be able to just lift it off of the platform at this point. And there we go! Got myself a cushion to sit on the floor. <laughs> so definitely took more tries than the first two, but she's too cute. I just, could, I just couldn't not get one for myself. This one is just so adorable. And I really wanted to keep one for myself. When I saw that they were... Um, you could kind of see what prizes are coming out on iCatch when you scroll down to the maintenance. Um, and like see what prizes are in maintenance. And I was like, I, I, need, I need one. So decided to go ahead and try for another one of the second pillow. Just to see, um, because this one had been nerfed as well by this point. So I wanted to see basically what they did, um, and it didn't lift at all. So I was trying to figure out whether I wanted to give it another play or leave. Because I was worried because since the lift wasn't as strong, I didn't really know if 
I could shift it back to being centered or if I had just screwed myself over and gotten it into a pretty bad position. As you can see, I accidentally gripped onto the plastic and didn't really make any progress there. And I believe, um, I'm trying to think of the cut I made. I think I did leave the machine and, and come back um, to play again because I had ended up just going, you know, it is too slanted for me to fix it at this point and I don't want to waste plays trying. That's one of the things with like crane games, you have to know when to walk away from a machine. Because if I feel like I personally can't fix it, maybe someone else can <laughs> and I can just come back later. So as you can see, I just wasn't getting the lift that I wanted and I wasn't really fixing it properly. I feel like I went too far back, but I decided to just leave it and just scroll around some more. I did a lot of unnecessary scrolling in this video, so I cut it out. So we're back to the Sim Figure Pro. In hindsight, I really don't know why I came back. I legit just talked about walking away from machines and here I am playing a machine I know isn't that great. And once again, it does absolutely nothing. And I think, I hope I didn't put in more than one play. Yeah, okay. So someone had fixed this pillow for me, yay. So I decided to give it another shot. It had been straightened out and I was waiting in line and forgot to press record, which is my bad. So here I am giving it another try, just going for the center, and I decided to lift a little bit towards the back. Since the pillow is kind of hanging off of the back here, a little bit. Um, but as you can see, didn't really do much there. So I believe I went for the front for our next move here. So we are just going to go towards the front, or at least um, not as far back. And moved it forward a little bit, which was good. And now I'm just trying to decide whether or not I wanted to do a lift so that it flips forward or a lift so that it falls basically between the bar and the platform in the back. So I centered it here and I decided to basically just go for the same position. Hitting the bar as usual. But we did manage to lift it in. It just gripped the plastic and, and it was enough lift to lift it backwards. So we got it, which is awesome. And in hindsight, I am realizing that I, wow, I really cut this video in a weird way. Cause so with the way I catch works between plays, they ask you if you want to continue and they give you basically 10 seconds to decide. Um, and I guess I cut some of those out too. Video editing skills. Don't have them. <laughs> so, more of me just scrolling around. And I was looking for these earlier. The Love Live um, Gacha Fun. So for these machines, it is 300 ICP a play, which is about $3 a play. But it is a guaranteed win no matter what you do. So you can place the claw anywhere. It doesn't like close or anything. As you can see, it just lifts back up, but they still give you the prize. They basically just give you a random Love Live gacha con. So I wanted to get one of these because I was sort of kind of trying to complete the set. But it seems like, because it was in maintenance earlier, that they are definitely running low on a few of the characters. So we'll see who I get when it gets here I hope I get a Chica because she's one that I really want I have Mari who's my best girl and Chica is second best in terms of the Aqua characters but I have not been able to get her with the plays that I've done which makes me kinda sad um so more of me just sort of looking around and scrolling not really sure what I'm doing here actually 
Oh, okay. I went back to the sympathy gear machine. I, like I said earlier, when a claw is strong, I, I just, you know, it's kind of hard for me to leave it alone. So, doing what we did before, we are just going to go for a front lift to move the prize forward and just keep moving it forward until it falls. And so here is probably where I'm going to mess up the most. As you can see, I lifted it, good lift, but the prize is now tilted instead of being centered, which of course makes life difficult because I can't aim. <laughs> You'd think that would be a simple thing to do when it comes to playing crane games, but for whatever reason, I am just super bad at it. And as you can see, I just stab the prize. And it does not go anywhere, because I'm bad at things. <laughs> so we are just going to give it another try. It's so basically, I want the right claw to wrap around the prize, which is why I try to get so close to it. So it basically picks it up and moves it back to the left. But I also, if I don't go far enough to the right when moving the claw, I risk stabbing the prize and basically wasting a move. So here we're trying it again. Thankfully, both of the claws wrapped around because I know there is some plastic sticking out from this one. And it is in! So again, iCatch can be pretty finicky with what they consider a win or not. I've had cases where they've given me prizes and cases where they're like, nope, it has to fall all the way down. So I figured in this case, I would again just go ahead and just give it one more try. Um, this one was interesting because we don't have the same gap that we had for the first one that ended up in this position. So I was going to try and lift it somehow. Um, but as you can see, the claw actually stabbed the prize, which I didn't want to do, but it went in anyway. So got another one. More cushionage for me to sit on on the floor. <laughs> And yeah, that's the last prize for me today, so I wanted to thank you all so much for watching. I will definitely be doing an unboxing video of all the prizes that I've won today, and a few little surprise prizes that I won before actually playing today. And I have one more unboxing coming, which is gonna be a big one. Who oh boy, regret life decisions. So yeah, thanks so much for watching, and I hope you guys were able to get some helpful tips from this video. And I will see you in the next unboxing video.